How these brakes work on these funny cars isn't like one of your street car. It's all on a handle. Most cars that most people drive obviously have a brake that's on, on a pedal for your foot. These are all done on a, on a lever. So the reason for that is because first of all, there really is no room down here for, for as you can see, there's a throttle pedal, clutch pedal, and you have to have some room for, for a brake. So what we've got here is uh, on this funny car is, is, is a backward pull brake handle. Some are forward push, some are backward. This one is a traditional backward. This car has been upgraded with brakes uh, due to from our last cars, also due to what we learned from the accident. We used to have steel rotors on this car. Now everything is carbon fiber. The steel rotors work better and are more aggressive when they are cold. But when you're going down the track and you get a lot of heat in them, they, they're not as aggressive as a carbon fiber rotor and a carbon fiber brake. So on the back of this car, which you can't see right now because the rear tires are on, there's actually four calipers back there. And these were upgraded here. These are off of a pro stock car. These are the biggest brake that Strange Engineering, who makes all of our brakes, designed for us. Everything is upgraded. Everything is beefier and bulkier. So it had to be because there's so much more clamping for us on the front of this car. These brakes are designed for when it gets real hot when you're going 260 miles an hour and say you have a chute failure and the parachutes don't come out. The hotter these brakes get, the more aggressive they are. The same brakes that are on airplanes. These brakes will glow cherry red and get very aggressive. That's, that's the nice thing about these brakes is when you really need them. In a case like our English Town accident, we had no parachutes. So it was a pretty bad situation, but we learned a lot from it. We made a lot of good changes, and we have a safer race car today.